tribulation we have already come. Amen. Mm -mm. But yet God has been faithful. Yes. Oh, yeah. I said God has been faithful. Yes, oh, yeah. yes. Somebody told me that it's been better to us. Come on, somebody. Yes. I said, come on, somebody. Yes. He's been better to us oh, yeah. than we've been to ourselves. Oh, yeah. Amen, amen. We just want to thank him this morning for his grace and his mercy. Amen. 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 We ask you to stand. Amen. As we go to our scripture. Amen. We ask you to go to Ephesians 4 chapter. You have to say amen. And the Bible reads, This I say therefore, and testify in the law, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding dark, being alienated, okay, amen, from the life of God, through the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling have given themselves over to lasciviousness to work uncleanliness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Christ, if so be that ye have heard him, and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. That ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitfulness of the deceitful lusts. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Amen. You may be seated. Let us leave you with an encouraging word this morning. Living as children of life. Amen. Is that all right? I said, living as children. All right, that's all right. The devil is alive. Amen. Amen. You know, we come to this time in this New Year's. And we are accustomed to making New Year's resolutions on. Yes. And I don't know what your New Year's resolution is. It might be more to prosper financially than maybe to eat right, your health reason. But I come to say that we as Christians, yes. that maybe one of our New Year's resolutions should be that we as Christians should start living better. Mm -hmm. That we should look live differently than non-Christians. All right. I come to say that if you say that you are saved, you need to start living like you say. Amen. 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 We, we shouldn't be doing anything Monday through Saturday, but on Sunday we caught drag the biggest Bible that we can carry. All right. I'm just saying that we need to start living as children of life. Mm -hmm. And no matter what happened, Last year. Last year is behind us. Don't let nobody hold you for what happened last year. But tell them this year that part of my resolution is that if I claim that I'm holy, then watch by the blood that I'm going to start walking. Yeah. Right. I'm going to start walking different. I'm going to start walking like I am safe. Yeah. I come to tell you that we live in today's time. It's not time now to start getting mad at folks That's right. and laying your religion down. Oh, you're right about that. For you don't know, if you can lay it down, you don't realize what it costs for you to get. So as we come into this scripture, let us talk about 
what it means to be walking as children yeah. of the light. All right. As I look at this particular scripture in Ephesians 4, the Bible says now in this text, so I tell you this, and it always goes on to say, and I insist yes. on it in the Lord, that you must no longer, no, no, no matter what you've been doing, but see, today is the day. You must no longer live as the Gentiles, as sinners do. Yeah. Right. In the fertility of their thinking. Now what do we mean, Pastor, about the fertility of their thinking? Well, people have a natural tendency to think their own way instead of God's way. Yeah, and we possess characteristics like pride. Doesn't the Bible say that pride doesn't fall before pride? Yes. Some of us will try to rationalize our way. If you ever ask somebody, I have to ask you, well, how did Jesus, how did God put the stars in the sky? I, I really don't know the sign that how he did it. Mm -hmm. But, I, and I'm not going to have to rather, but I'm walking by faith. Yeah. All right. Amen. That the Bible said he did. Some of us will try to make excuses about why we're not going to church. And I, I'm not going to share because the church folks, uh, they're they, they no good. And they're not doing right by my mother. But you know, that that's not your responsibility. For the Bible tells us to give out your heart. Give because not only do I love my brother, but I love God. No. We need to start walking like children of life. The Bible says that pride, rationalization, and excuses will keep you away from God. And I couldn't tell you, don't be surprised at people when they can't really understand the gospel. But the Bible tells us that the gospel will seem foolish to those that have lost their faith. But doesn't the Bible say, lean not on your own understanding? Come on, somebody. For Proverbs came to confirm it and said, now, let not have a trust. I'm going to tell you, sometimes we trust in a lot of folk. All right. But the Bible said, trust in the Lord. All right. Now, sometimes we, 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 we trust our best friend, and we might trust lawyers, and we might trust the tax man, but you know, those folks can lie and put you down. All right. Yeah. Yes. But the Bible said, trust in the Lord. Yeah. And it don't say come with this thing and trust it just a little bit. But you glad the Bible said trust it with all that you got. Yes, amen. All your heart. All right. I'm going to tell you, and some of you, you may, you can understand, like, it says trust him and love him the same way you love your mom. Yeah. Now, I got, I got, you know we love mom. All right. I'm going to tell you, I've been blessed that my mother's still here and pastor loves him some mom. All right. But the Bible is saying that I, I, I need to love God more. Come on, somebody. Oh, yeah. All right, man. I said, I need to love him more All right. than I love mine. Yeah. Right. Trust him with all your heart. Mm -hmm. And if you trust him, you lean not on your understanding. Because don't you realize that you don't really know nothing? That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not trying to blow your intelligence. I'm sure some of y'all came from a good school, Harvard, Yale, Princeton. Yeah. Yep. All the time. You came from good school, but I'm going to tell you the Bible said, trust not on your own, don't lean on your own understanding. Because if you lean on, look, look at some of the mistakes so many of us have made already. Because look, we just look back. Mm. Some of us have made some mistakes so bad, we don't even want to tell nobody. Mm -mm. All right. We just want God to know we love God, God, God knows, but God doesn't tell nobody. Right, right. So we see what leaning on your own understanding has cost you. But the Bible says, in all your way, Saying all oh, everything that you got. Man, when you walk, in all your way. Mm -hmm. When you sleep, in all your way. When you eat, in all your way. Right. Acknowledge him. And the Bible said we will do that. God has got a blessing for us. Yes, for that point, the Bible said he will make all your paths straight. Yeah. I'm going to tell you now, some of us look around, some of us got some crooked paths we walk on. Yeah. I say some of us got some crooked paths we've been walking down. Yeah. And we just lucky somebody ain't caught us yet, but we've been walking some crooked paths. But the Bible said you trust in God. All right. Come on, 
Y'all just talking about it's 2014. I, I, I just feel the sense of God. We need to do better. Mm -hmm. The Bible said if we trust Him with everything that we got, that God will make those crooked paths that we walk in and make them straight. Yeah. I don't know about you, but it sounds like some good news to me. Yes. Somebody might have a question. Now, I said, I know we got some intelligent folk here. And we wonder, we see now, how can intelligent folk turn into adultery? Well, the Bible tells us that adultery is easily had. It begins with smart people start rejecting what they know about God. All right. Instead of looking, ask, looking for answers to him. Instead of depending on him, the one who we call and say is the creator and the sustainer of our life. Yeah. Don't you know that folks will start leaning on their own? Understand? Amen. And the text here says when they do that, the Bible says that they are dark. Yeah. And they understand me, they don't really understand nothing. And they are separated from the life of God. Yeah. All right. And the Bible said, why are they dark and separate? Because the Bible said, because of ignorance. I come to tell you, you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> don't the Bible say that my people perish for the lack of knowledge? What he's saying, yep, you're walking around in ignorance. That's right. And what scares me sometimes, you know, folks are happy to walk around in <laughs> And the Bible says the reason we are walking around ignorant because God has said that their hearts are start hard. Don't you know people don't want to hear nothing about the Bible? Hmm. Amen. They don't want to hear nothing about the scriptures. Amen. Nobody want to hear about how Jesus saves. Yes. Because they got in their mind, they want to do their own thing. Yes. Yeah, they don't want to hear about Jesus because that means they might stop going to the club. <laughs> they don't want to hear about time out. That means they can't buy the lottery tickets that they Come on, somebody. I'm just saying, people. I yeah. walk around in ignorance because they choose to. <laughs> For the Bible gives us a scripture here in Romans 1. It said, even back then, for although they knew God, they neither glorified him yeah. nor gave God thanks. All right. I couldn't tell you sometimes when you just think about it. What God has brought you through 2013, when you turn on the news every day, and it was somebody died, yes. right. somebody got shot, uh -huh. somebody was in a car accident, oh, yeah. somebody got robbed, yes. and yet here you are, you walked through 365 days and then nothing happened to you, don't you think you ought to give God some thanks? Yeah. 
Leave it on their own understanding. And in Romans, the Bible says because of, because they're futile thinking, because they won't lean on their own understanding beside God, the Bible said that, therefore, yeah. it's almost as though God just wiped his hand with it. All right. For the Bible says in Romans 1, therefore, God gave them all. God said, go ahead and stay in that mess. God gave them over in their sinful desires of their hearts to sexual impurity for the degrading of their bodies with one another. Don't you know when two men and two women get together, that's the great degradation of your body that God has given you? But because of their unwilling to acknowledge him, God has given them over to this sinful nature. But I'm so glad that it says firmly that you are up. And the Bible should talk about us. That's those that know the Lord. That we didn't come and know Christ that way. Yeah. As you know, some folks are calling themselves teaching Christ and they're not going by the Bible. Mm. Mm. I said some folks are teaching Christ and they're not going by the Bible. Ain't, ain't, ain't no Bible, not one Bible. Yeah. And trying to teach you about Jesus. Yeah. But I'm so glad that we had somebody, somebody. I, 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 I love that song. They said, I'm so glad that somebody Pray for me. Oh, yeah. Don't you know somebody prayed for you? Yeah. That led you on the right. I'm so glad I had a, a prayer of mama and daddy. And somebody said, had an example to take you to church. Yeah. Not take you to church, but make me go to church. Yeah. Any good you can look back now and say thank you because you realize what the big picture is? Hallelujah. I'm so glad I had somebody that prayed for me. Thank yeah. you. Thank so I didn't learn about Christ no way, okay? I didn't learn Christ on the corner. Thank you, Lord. That's right. I didn't learn Christ in the strip club. Hmm. But mom and daddy took me to church so I could hear it from the preacher. Well. Thus says the Lord. Yes. I'm going to tell you, ain't empty God. Amen. That trouble don't last. Oh, Come on, somebody. Mm. All right. I said, ain't you glad? Yeah. That trouble don't last. Oh, oh. We just thank the Lord because God has been good yes, to us. Yes, Anybody thank the Lord today? Yes. That He has been good to us. Thank you. And the Bible lets me know that even when I turn my back on Him, all right, that God has been good to us. Thank you. And He keeps on yes, he does. blessing us. Yes, he does. Over and over. Yes, I said over and over. Yes. I'm so glad that even when you turned your back on me, God was still there. Yes, Blessing us. Mm. Over and over. And over. Mm. And over. So we give God the praise this morning for what he is doing. Yes. And as we come and we stand it, we're walking as children of the light. Yes. We got our mind that we need to do better. We got in our mind that we will do better. Yeah. All right. And I come to tell you that we can't do better of ourselves, but we need the help yes. of the Lord. Amen. Uh, I understand now when I hear mom and daddy say, well, I'll stretch my hand to thee. Yeah, All right. yeah for no other help. Come on, yeah. somebody. Anybody yeah. I got a whistle up in here? Yeah. Because God just keeps on loving us. Yes, he does. And the Bible said, as we go on, that they walk in darkness because that they want to. Yes. And because that they want to, that they have went on to their own desires. But I come to tell you that Paul said some good news. Go he said now that you can remove the old sex. Yeah. Okay. That we don't have to walk in them old ways. I come to tell you, 2013 is gone. Amen. And we need to start walking in the glory of the Lord. Yes. All right. For the Bible said we can stick away the old friends. Mm -hmm. For he told in the Bible that we need to start craving like a babe. We need to start craving pure and spiritual milk. Yeah, I'm talking about that milk that will sustain us through these hard times. Yeah. We as, as the child of the king not, should not settle for anything. But we should start craving the things that God has for us. Okay, right. Don't you understand the things that God has for us? Mm -hmm. Will magnify us, will, will make us better. Will make us fit that we'll have more power. 
Anybody looking for more power? Yes. I said, is anybody looking for more power? Yes. In the law. And the Bible says, because of that, we need to take away and throw away those old things. The old habits. The Bible said we need to get rid of things such as anger. We need to get rid of things such as hate. We need to get rid of a thing as, as depression. But right. those things aren't from God. We can put them things to the side. Yes. And I come to tell you that sometimes, mm, that when you sin, you don't automatically get whole all the stuff. I come to tell you, sometimes when you, when you get saved, you're going to automatically start thinking, have some bad thoughts. Sometimes you're going to automatically have some bad things to say. But I come to tell you that being saved is a continuous process. Yes. And if you stay and start listening to the law, yes. keep on listening. Yes. Keep on receiving it. That when the God, don't you know that the word of God will change you? Yes. Anybody know that prayer changes things? Yes.